You should know that they're smart. You should know that um, they may need invention strategies or revising strategies that wouldn't work for you. Um, or who knows, uh, in those invention strategies or revising strategies might work for you more than you might think. Um, you should know that you can learn, you and your students can learn a lot about learning from the people with disabilities in your class. Um, and it's a good idea to ask them um, what you need to know about them. That's a good place to start. And if you would forgive me uh, for mentioning my article, um, a lot of what I have to say about this is in the November 2010 special issue of English Journal on Disabilities. I have an article in there called Reseeing Disability, and I'd recommend that. Learning disabled students actually can add a lot of energy to your class. If you can change the style of your teaching to match or to reflect the way that different students learn, um, then you can, you can help some of these learning disabled students to do a little bit better in your classroom. And they can be the leaders in some of these other um, learning activities. So for instance, um, a lot of the stuff I'm taking from Patricia Dunn's book, Talking, Sketching, Moving, um, and she also has an, another book called Learning Reable that's a really good resource for working with uh, learning disabled students. Um, and if you can get students to uh, learn visually, or if you can get them to learn uh, kinetically, I guess you could say, moving around or drawing, uh, um, these are things that learning disabled students do well that other students maybe don't. So that can be a way to kind of segue into working with learning disabled students, but also helping some of the other students in your, in your class as well. I talk to students about learning differences as a part of teaching composition and um, whenever you're working with an individual you need to make sure that you're talking to that person as a human being um, who may not know exactly the same things as you, who may know more than you about some things. And um, there's no one right way to do it. Um, I do think it's important in any composition classroom to uh, show it and say it. So many times I'll put on the overhead what I'm talking about and then I'll talk about it so that they get a visual and an auditory and then a lot of times I'll bring in a physical movement for them especially if it's something I want them to remember. Um, one of the trivia questions recently was what is Jenny's phone number and everyone in the place said 8675309. Part of the reason we know that is because we said it, we saw it, it's rhythmical you know, and, and so I think that if you want students to remember something, you need to give them multiple ways to remember. That's not just for students with learning disabilities or differences, that's for everyone.